pack a bag as we visit another travel destination on Long Island. This is the Shelter Island House. My sister Janet and I purchased the property and it's just a little place that she and I have a special connection with. Um, prior to buying it, we, we would always come here for a glass of rosé and play a little patonk on the front property and have some girl time. It's a place that we've grown up our entire lives. Just a very unique, uh, wonderful place to go and it's, it's peaceful and most people that visit Shelter Island, as soon as they pull off the ferry, it's like all your, your woes and your, your, your troubles are lifted. It gives you a chance to unplug and kind of be thankful for you know what nature can give us. I think we're all connected to our phones and to our work and to the, you know the TV. I'm being very truthful, truthful when I say this. I don't remember the last time I turned a TV on. It's a nice size property. It's not too busy and it's not too you know quiet. We're considered a boutique hotel, a little bit different from a bed and breakfast because we do have 12 rooms. Each of the rooms is is kind of styled in a way that we call beachy chic. It's a little bit modern but it also meets sort of the the uniqueness of this property which was built in 1866 um, and has been slowly re renovated over the years but we've kept that sort of old school charm and then mixed it with some modern beachy um, flair. The guests love the pool area and then of course our outdoor bar which is uh, kind of our lunchtime bar and then being able to just not even have to leave the property to enjoy our tavern and, and the wonderful food that our chefs create every evening. That's our private cottage back there. Um, first floor is a king suite, which is a large suite with a king bed and a pull-out couch and a spa bathroom. It's overlooking our beautiful gardens and our pool. Um, it also has a stairwell that connects to the second floor, which it's family friendly. You can put the kids upstairs in the two queen beds and then the parents can kind of have their alone time downstairs. It's separate from the main building and um, it's very popular with our, our guests. You can swim and you saw our ping pong tables and our um, uh, patonk out in front. Um, so it is family friendly so the kids can play out back which is all fenced in and the parents can sit here in this lovely garden and have a glass of rosé and, and really kind of take it down a notch. <laughs> And then we're in walking distance to the largest beach on the island, which is about a five minute walk and then a five minute walk to the uh, public golf course. So it's kind of like beach, golf, swim. It is quite seasonal out on the East End, but because of that, we, we still have a lot of people that want to come out and go to wine country in the fall and in the winter. Um, and we have the people that are not interested in the, the Hamptons and the, the hustle and the bustle and they want to enjoy it when it's nice and quiet. Our marketing manager, Julie, puts together wonderful packages of snowshoeing and fire pit outside and uh, leaf peeping in the fall. So it's a year-round property. Being a small property, um, we do have a fair amount of return guests. You know, our guests really consider this their summer home or their winter home. And I would say um, anywhere from six months out, I would book for the summertime. Um, we do book up very quickly on the weekends. We have a two night minimum on the weekends from um, late Memorial Day to Labor Day. Um, actually, it's, we've extended that to Columbus Day weekend because wedding season is super popular out here in the fall. So I would say six months ahead for the summertime to, to book a room. See you in Shelter Island? See you in Shelter Island. <laughs>